Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and guys please if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button let's get started and as usual we start with the dixie checking the daily time frame we still that uh, the dixie still inside the, this range a little bit of a boring trading been for a while now uh, that's typically for summer trading but there is a little bit of signs that we might see uh, a potential break to the upside on the dollar especially that we've got this higher low now that is not enough so uh, for more upside we need to see the dollar breaking out of this range for a retest and then continuation i still think that this stop gonna be tested this gap gonna be filled on the dollar so i'm looking more for the upside even though we still have this uh, bearish divergence on the rsi but we know that these can go for a while uh, before the uh, reversal happen and um, yeah looking where the dollar is at there is still enough room to do a big uh, correction here uh, let's keep in mind we've coming from all the way up here and we're still down here so i'm thinking that uh, this is the beginning of a bigger reversal and that's why i'm very interested to see if we're gonna have the break to the upside or not this need to happen checking the before a continuation higher now if you check the high uh, the four hour time frame sorry you see this uh, more uh, clearly the higher low here after this uh, nice impulse a higher low and um, as i said again i'm waiting for the break to the upside now if that does not happen we could uh, still play the range here we still have resistance so it is a sell up here buy down here uh, awaiting for a break uh, out of the range if the break happened below 92 which means a break below this level here then we are looking for a little bit of uh, further downside maybe a retest of this uh, area down here on the dollar but firstly for me i'm looking for the break to the upside checking on the gold let's go to the daily time frame so gold after this huge impulse to the downside need uh, i said it need to do a little bit of a correction as for now if we measure the fib retracement of this correction we've got a 50 percent retracement uh, so far and as i said in uh, previous overviews uh, i would like to see a 618 uh, retracement that would uh, be a nice level because it's gonna be at the same level as the broken neckline so uh, still waiting to see if that will happen friday was um, a big bearish day uh, though and um, yeah as for now i still think that as far as we're holding above uh, this uh, level down down here the old range uh, we might still see that correction but all in all i'm waiting for gold uh, to end this correction and give us uh, another leg to the downside so first impulse correction second impulse uh, 618 is uh, the level that i do like to see it um, testing because if we look left here there's not much of a structure on the way the best uh, structure i see here is this 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 and this previous uh, resistance so that's why in a combination with 618 that would be a nice level to watch for a short trade on gold oil done the expected so uh, <clears throat> those of you who watch me um, on sundays here on youtube um, i've been saying that um 77 uh, 75 50 76 area up here is the level to watch and also we said look for a little bit of a spike to the out uh, to the upside to then look for a failure of a new high and this is the failure of a new high which means we now have a lower high on oil which also could mean we might look for further downside back towards 65 area on the mid uh, midterm uh, range here so if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that we had the nice impulse 
correction that failed to make a new high so we have a lower high and then another uh, move to the downside so any break below this area now could mean this further continuation to the uh, downside on oil so keep an eye on this level in my opinion uh, if it breaks below this level here we look for a move back down towards 65 in uh, my opinion and that's what i'm watching on this market okay USD, so uh, always the opposite of what the Dixie has been doing. I still think USD have room to the downside. I'm not seeing any reason for the bears to stop uh, here or to take profit. I think uh, the, the best level for the bears to take profit is to tag this previous area down here or maybe even lower if that got broken. So um, uh, I'm watching to see if this will continue to the downside. Uh, keep in mind we do have a little bit of a bullish, bullish divergence on the daily <clears throat> but again all we have so far failed new highs on um, after this uh, lower high lower high and another lower high so there is potentially a uh, pressure build up to the downside here so any break below this previous low down here i'm looking for further downside if we uh, squeeze this a little bit you see that um, again no reason to stop i don't see any reason for the bears to stop before tagging this previous low and again uh, if they uh, bounce back up the area to watch is this uh, the top of the range up here yeah so if you see um, a, a, a bounce to the upside again you keep an eye on 1.19 as a potential sell level on this market um, in my opinion sterling usd still in a sideways uh, move but again uh, there was uh, no major breakout we had only one bullish day to then move back down still the key area down here is the 1.35 uh, sorry 37.50 this area here if broken there is enough room to the downside for this market check the weekly time frame look where we, where from we're coming we've got we've done a huge move here a double top the neckline will still be key area here if broken we are looking for a bigger correction looking left here this area is key uh, where the neckline is and if we measure this whole thing here we see that there is enough room for a bigger correction. So yeah, we still did not reach 38. We still did not reach 5618. There is enough for a longer term correction on this market. But first of all, we need to see this area broken. So the weekly last week was a bearish engulfing. And uh, if we check the daily, we see that um, the market is still holding the support. Any break below this level next week, I'm looking for further downside on this market, at least toward this uh, first area. This would be my first target if the break uh, below um, the lows here happen uh, next week. USDJP also, um, we mentioned this uh, break out of the channel last week and that if they fail to break higher, and uh, we see only a retest we look for further downside and that what's happened so far so we have an impulse we have a lower high which could mean uh, this was a correction and we might see one more impulse i'm actually eyeing 107.90 again as a potential target so uh, next week if they break below the low here i'm looking for uh, a target uh, toward uh, 107.90 once again down around this area okay so if we go down to the four hour time frame we see it more clearly here the impulse the correction another impulse we will see now if this would be another correction and the continuation so this here is the most important level right now 109.70 if broken 107.90 is the target usd chief um, this is a little bit um tricky so on the daily we have this nice move we've got um, a slower market here a uh, weird head and shoulder with a nice bearish divergence we've got another impulse to the downside and one um, could start to think that we might see something like this happening after this impulse a correction back to the neckline and maybe further upside now 
it did stop here down here i don't like the area though i would love to see a continuation but i don't like the area where we stopped at to then start moving higher so this would be much easier uh, trade if uh, we've got a correction all the way back to the neckline that would be also a potential 618 area which is yeah as you see so um what i don't like about this i want to see this going further up but I don't like that we stopped here and we start moving higher Thursday and Friday. So that's why I'm saying it is a little bit tricky. So I will wait for more information here because on the four hour time frame there was a failure of a new high, there was an impulse, retest yet another impulse that broke lower, but then we saw the market moving like this. So for next week, if I see a, an, a, an impulse to the upside that hold on the retest, hold the level here, that we might look for further upside otherwise i'm looking for a short term move down toward this level to then look for bullish evidence now even though i'm looking for this to happen i'm not trading it to the downside i want to trade down here for the upside or again if i see an impulse and then the correction hold above the neckline that would be a reason to go long for me USD CAD also looking good. Uh, the, the rotation all the way from down here been nice. The rounded bottom was completed. Then impulse correction, yet another impulse, another higher low. So we have a sequence of higher highs and higher lows. And that's why uh, this is a mini bullish trend that started. And if we check the weekly, you see guys, we've been moving to the downside for a very long time now. It's been a huge move lower and in my opinion at least a 38.2 fibonacci is um, a potential target on the longer term here so after this impulse at least a correction toward 38.2 which is also happened to be at a great level of interest looking left how many times this level been tested and we are watching the weekly time frame guys yeah so at least something like this before taking profit in my opinion on uh, usd cad and keep in mind that last week we had a break and close above the previous week so now this here uh, is really broken with a close above which means an early sign for a bigger correction to the upside on this market so i'm still um, looking for bullish moves here and um, we might see a little bit of trouble right now because we are testing a level of interest also that been tested uh, as both uh, support and resistance many many times as you see here so we will see what will happen uh, on this level if they break and hold above we keep looking for further upside if they fail and start seeing struggle i think we look for uh, the bottom of the range for another buy or all the way down here we will see which one will hold or not but my main view here that we see a break to the upside retest and then further upside on usd cat aussie usd checking the weekly time frame even here we've been moving all the way from down below to here we've got the head and shoulder formation we got the broken neckline and even here there is enough room to move lower i think the market objective could be a retest of this area here and even here guys if we measure the whole move um, on the fibonacci retracement at least a 38.2 and this area here would be a lovely level as a potential target and i'm not seeing any reason for the bears to stop now especially with this uh, weekly break and close below a uh, previous lows here there is no structure on the way until we reach the 38.2 so i'm still looking to uh, keep selling this market there was an attempt to move higher here but they end up with a lower high and as you see on friday the break and close below previous lows checking the four hour time frame you see it here how the high has been getting lower and lower and then we've got the break to the downside so this little range is now broken and we should be looking for further downside so look for a little bit downside any correction sell that uh, is the plan for me selling rallies now we saw aussie breaking almost the same range but New Zealand still inside the range so New Zealand is a little bit late and uh, we have the same scenario going on here we have uh, 
also a weird head and shoulder formation the neckline here is still not broken so i am seeing new zealand the, the lagging one we have the same impulse okay so everything looking the same almost but new zealand here was slowing down there is still no break below so this we have a little bit more uh, room to the downside and we had this range but again the highs are getting lower on this one there is in my opinion what look like what looks like a uh, pressure to the downside there was a failure to break higher there was another lower high so um, i'm watching to see if we're gonna get the break below uh, the range here to look for further downside or if we see another attempt to the top of the range that would be a perfect level to try to sell at we had this rejection and this rejection previously so we might get one more uh, even uh, this time so um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot and uh, see you next sunday bye bye